what is going on again, Dirt Paraders? Thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out with us today. Once again, we're playing some more Satisfactory, and we're picking up a little ways after we left off in the last episode. Uh, because if you remember where we left you, we had to do quite a bit of idle time. Or we're just letting the resources in the factory generate, work its way up. And in that time, we use it to finish off our assembly line here on the first tier of our base and make a couple of other improvements. Now... Since we did this kind of off cam and while we were gathering up resources, because we did a full-on showcase kind of multiple times going through this and building the exact same thing over and over and over again, in order to avoid re uh, a repetitive type of nature, we decided to kind of do it and handle it that way as we're working our way through our satisfactory of dreams. I am Nick, guys. This is Dirt Parade. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for coming to hang. And we are live right now. If you're watching on Twitch with me right now, what's up, buddy? Thank you for popping in to hang. I hope you're having a good one. We are live right now here on twitch.tv slash Parade. So if you're watching this after the fact on the tubes of Ubes, that's totally fine. We got you covered there. But if you want to come hang out with us and participate in the live stream episode stuff, follow me on Twitch. If you want to participate in the support of Nerd Parade, check out the Nerd Parade Patreon. Plenty of perks and rewards available to you. Uh, even the opportunity to play with us if you so choose. But enough about that. Enough intros. Let's show off the factory. Now, some of the stuff that we did while the base was kind of going is we just added a bunch of smelters down here nothing fancy a bunch of smelters over there and we still have this cluster f of base going on down here that we're going to try to get to clearing up today if we can if we can uh we have a couple of big goals today and big goal number one is attempt to go to the second floor because we're going to break down all that crap over there we got to make sure that we have a continuous steady supply of resources to cover us. So I'm joined here once again with mine. And Rambo, you've just subscribed 16 months. You're on a 16-month streak. Rambo, my dude, you're a scholar, a gentleman, and a legend. I've been on Twitch for 16 months, and you've been with me every step of the way. Thank you so much for subscribing, and thank you for being here with me tonight, my dude. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, we moved the hub, too. That's actually new. This is new. So we built some walkways because it was kind of a pain in the ass to get around, and we moved the hub I did this out of frustration, because I was like, screw that, man. I am tired of running all the way down there for this hub. We're moving that up here. That's really all that's new. Smelters are new. Hub is moved. Uh, the rest of the assembly lines are new. And we've ac uh, accumulated all the resources that we need to actually do some advancement. So we're back here with you after a small time skip. And I'm joined here again with mine. Mine, what do you want to do first? Do you want to start working towards... The second floor? I don't know why Bunny heard that, but it just seemed appropriate. The second floor? Or do you want to start working on clearing up the crap down below? Or do you uh, want to, like, ping-pong back and forth? Floor. Do a little bit of both? A little column A, a little column B? Yeah, because we got to get some production up there of the higher tier stuff. The biggest thing that we need... And I'm going to follow behind you. The biggest thing that we probably need first are, in case steel beams, we need definitely nobelisks and rifle ammo. You're a di Wow, that actually hurt a lot! <laughs> that actually hurt me a lot! Uh, we need rifle ammo, clearly. We need the reinforced plates. Those are going to be a big one. We need the, the encased steel beams. You're a dick sa- That one actually didn't hurt me as bad. That one didn't hurt me as bad. It just took off, like, almost a full Zelda heart. And I called you a dick sandwich, because that, in case you're curious, is a dick between two slices of bread. Uh... <sighs> If we are going to start doing Floor 2 stuff, maybe we need to start at the Skyway. And the reason why I say that is because we need to pump coal in here for steel. True. So, do you want to start over there? Uh... Either we're both really indecisive, or you have a better idea in mind. Uh... Okay, we're both really indecisive. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> What's up, buddy? I say we start over there. We got to get coal run into the base so that we can get steel made. Uh, wait, thank you so much for coming to hang with us, my dude. I got like halfway distracted, but this has not been touched since we started messing with it. This is the Skyway. The Skyway Highway. Three rows. We even left it open to show you some of the, uh, the business that we're going to be working with. And the coal area is going to be over He Haunter here. Uh, I say we work our way over to the coal. And how do you want to do it? Do you want to... Do you want to pump... I don't know why I elongated the pump. Do you want to pump resources up? Or do you want to build the... No, we'd have to. We have to. It's a mining facility. We have to move it up with an elevator. I don't know what I'm yes. thinking. 
Yeah, we so, have to go right up to the elevator with it. So in order to do that, and in order to make it look, you know, not ass, we're going to have to get lipstick tasered in the ass. No, we're going to have to get a column going. Because I like columns. I like when things look nice and OCD friendly and even. Wow, I hope you don't make it. I got this. You're slightly exactly the same speed as me, so I'm not able to catch it. Wait, I got an idea. Shit. <laughs> By the time I get this built, you're gonna be in freaking China. Screw it. We're just gonna keep running. Oh, yeah? 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 Fine. It's like I don't see that or something. <laughs> If only I had used all mine. Oh my god, that those bullets hurt so bad. I don't have bullets yet. I need bullets. Okay, enough screwing around. We got us some Rambo Claws is in the house. Rambo Claws, thank you so much for gifting subs to the new nerd paraders out there. New nerd paraders, please be sure to give that man some love in the chat. He's just upped our power level over the 9,000s. Thank you, Rambo Claus. Thank you so much for being a, a true nerd parader. You're a scholar, a gentleman. Oh my God, you scared me. And a, and an oh my God, you scared me. So what do you think right here? Do you want to build it one by one all the way up? Oh, make a twofer to come in. Do you want a, you want a twofer? Yeah, we can, no, we can do a twofer to come up in, yeah. We could do a twofer. Yes. Okay, in that case, we're gonna do it in the highway. Now the highway, is the I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a little bit how we're gonna do this. So I'm building the wrong thing. Ass monkeys, yeah, I'm building the wrong thing. No, actually I, I need to place height, I need to place that for the scaffolding. Give it to me. Oh, did I have it? Oh no no I had it for a second. Yeah, for a second there. Yeah, there we go. It's good now. That's what I meant to do, and I got slightly sidetracked due to Rambo Claus's generosity within the chat. Thank you, Rambo Claus. So this is the uh, this is the hidden highway. Now, what this is it's two stacked 8x4 foundations with two 8x2 foundations with enough space in between of one single foundation. Now, if that hasn't confused you thoroughly, I consider myself a master storyteller. If it has confused you, then never fear Nick is here. I'll take care of you. I'll, I'll explain it. So in between this little hallway, it's enough to be one foundation width. This is specifically there to hide all of our resources, make everything look nice and fancy, and I'm gonna lay some concrete all the way down, because I remember that we left this open so that we could show you guys how it's done. Now, as we place our way all the way to the edge, I just gotta go down to here, because everything else is completed. Uh, we're, mine, I think, is already starting some kind of pillar-esque structure that we can run the coal up, and this is gonna pipe right into our second floor area. And if you've been following along in the series thus far, the second floor area is reserved for creations, products, what, whatever you want to call it, that require more than one input. So say, for example, the first floor is your iron rods, your uh, iron plates, things that only require one ingredient. Whereas this, the floor number two is going to be two ingredients. That's kind of how we're doing it. And we're going to continue to progress upwards from there. That way we can maintain the base being absolutely the most OCD friendly place ever and hide all of our ugly little sky power lines, our resource lines. And well, power lines too, because we're running power off the sky bridge as well. Okay, now that that's completed, I could just show you what the sky bridge looks like. Boop, boop, same thing. We kind of left this open. It can house up to eight up to eight with this design. I'm gonna turn off my flashlight because it's starting to get uh, light outside. And we can snap this guy right about like so. I'd, I'd have to pull that out, I think. Nope, I can get him. It's a game save, world save, something save. Okay, I have to pop you right there. Oh no, it's one forward. I see what, I see what I'm doing wrong. There. I broke it because I had to get through. So this will take up to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, boom. Let's see if I can get through this. Oh, oh, I can. Chattius, my dude, thank you so much for coming to hang. Chattius, my man, just cheered a huge amount. Thank you so much for the bits, my friend. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you for coming to play Satisfactory with us. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you for the bits. And you you shared rewards with 55 other people in chat due to your generosity. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you so much for being here with us today. For the Nerd Parade build-along. Disney's got sing-alongs. Sing well, we've got build-alongs. And it's going to be badass. Because everything we do is badass. We just piss 
badass. Damn. It's like, you know how you piss excellence? Well, I'm just gonna piss bad. All right, fine, screw it. I think that came out very well. Yeah, it didn't come out very well. They can't all be gems, it's fine. Can you join us? Actually, there is an opportunity to join us, as I mentioned earlier in the uh, in the stream episode here. Uh, if you are a Patreon, you, there is the option for uh, playing with Nerd Parade if you so desire. So if you're interested in doing some of that stuff, be sure to check out the Nerd Parade Patreon, which you can type an exclamation Patreon here in the chat, or if you're watching later on the tubes of Ubes, you can just uh, follow the link in the description. Blow me. <laughs> Below me. I... What are you doing over there? I'm trying to check out how you're doing this, Biz. There's two cold ones over here. Oh! I ran out of plates, so though. Oh. No plates. What, what plates do you need? Iron plates? The regular ones. Yeah, I got you. I got you covered. I'm going to get you all fixed up. But first, I'm going to put a wall here. Three or two entry nodes? Three. Three, okay. Three There's entry four nodes. There's over here so we can bring three of them back to the base. Okay, well, I've got that entry node set up, ready to go. Are you going to do the amazing thing that I think you're going to do and I'm going to help you? What's that? Uh, you place the thingies and then I do the thingy. Oh, maybe I can't. The mega super build trick? I might be oh, too, high. too high. Oh. I, don't any, I don't have any for the bottom anyways. Um, I ran a plate. Will this, the base. Will, will this work? No. <laughs> Clearly these plates defy gravity. Yeah, you have to come down. Oh, man, I was trying to avoid that at all costs. All right, that's Wait, fine. So, oh, I was going to try something. Oh, I can still boost. Okay, you got me right at, like, the perfect section. The perfect section is the perfect second. Did that hit you? Uh, no, but what are you doing? Oh, whoa, that hit me? Oh. That's some good range. Whoa, that's impressive. Okay, so what was your idea? <laughs> that was my idea. Just to shoot me? Yeah. I'm moving target. It worked. All right, I'm coming down to you now to give you the plates. Or actually to assist you in building. Wow, I missed everything. You shot. missed all of those. I heard you shooting. Okay, there's there's 100 plates right here on the ground next to me. If you want to grab them. I'm keeping some plates because I'm going to start the build. And we'll deforest this area too a little bit as we go. Ah, that was hitting me. Yeah, oh, the plants are probably plants. Oh, plants. I pissed off the plants. <laughs> Kill it with fire or explosive. Explosives. Yeah, you can blow these plants up. You can blow almost anything up is what I have come to understand in this game. Well, I mean the gas plants. Go on. Tell me more. My I whole them up. My whole screen shook from that. All right, coal is our goal. You said clear the trees, right? Uh, yeah, part of the process. By the way, do we have things making more novelists? Because they're amazing. No, I haven't gotten that far yet. Oh, man. We're going to have to get some. Oh, you know what I can do here to make this look really, really super sweet? Oh, I had it. Explosives? I don't have any of those. I used all mine because I can't... Ah, oh, got it. I can't hang on to them for some strange reason. It, like, burns a hole in my pocket. Yeah, me too. I'm already, I'm already almost out. I had like 50 to begin with and I'm almost out. <laughs> we suffer from the same problem. Like, oh my god, these things are amazing! Oh, come on, let me go through the ground. Thank you. Perfect. We've got another subscriber. Let's my dude. Thank you so much for subscribing. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You got a, we got a, a gift subscribe. Thank you so much for giving a gift subscribe. Call me daddy. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for being here with us as we live stream. Glad to have you here. Hope you're enjoying some of the satisfactory gameplay. As we try to make ourselves the most impressive base known to satisfactory kind. And the most OCD friendly base known to satisfactory kind. Oh crap, I gave you all my iron plates so I ran <laughs> So I ran out. I gave you all my plates so I ran out. But I'm going to go get more. We're going to need more. But all this coal, all these generators... They're becoming a thing of the past. I'm very excited for that. We're going to do some amazing power solutions. Probably not immediately for this part of the episode, but it will be a thing to come. And I hope you guys are excited for that. We're going to solve all power problems. Ooh, and we're going to get this berry. Because mine keeps 
shooting me, so I'm Definitely low on health. Me. It was. I'm that. pretty sure that you're the only dude on this planet that's got a gun. And, I left uh, a gun in the storage bin in the hub for you, and you didn't pick it up yet. Somehow, no. your magic bullets find their way right to my ass parts each and every time, so... I'm gonna ride this, and we're gonna That's eat this one said. berry. <laughs> Wait, the ass parts or the I'm gonna ride this? Because both technically yeah. apply. <laughs> oh, jumping up for more berries. Oh, yeah, professional. You know, I'm, I'm riding the conveyor belt, and I'm just picking up berries along the way, because it seems like some of these have regrown. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you like the OCD friendliness of the base. Now, it has just... The surface has just been scratched with this. We are... Insane people. I really... I, I don't know how to diplomatize that up. We're insane people. And... This game is challenging in and of itself. It's not easy. But doing this in an OCD friendly way is like hard mode in the game. So it's something that I'm pretty proud of. Now, as I say that as we go over like the crap that we're gonna delete hopefully in this episode, but when you get to the actual base, you're gonna see what we mean by like some OCD friendliness. And that's where we're running now. I'm, gonna, I'm going up to get some plates. We scaffolded this whole place out just to make it a little easier to traverse, get around. And the, uh, the building it's just everything is symmetrical and it lines up so well. I am, I, I'm proud of it. I, I have pretty severe gaming related OCD, especially when it comes to building games. And I cannot like look at how nice that lines up. I cannot handle stuff when it's misaligned. I'll stay up till 4 a.m. fixing it because it drives me bonkers. It's just the way that I am. I don't know why. I'm really not that bad in real life, but when it comes to gaming, something happens to me when I'm gaming, and it really, really comes out. But anyway, Staple, thank you so much. Resub for the OCD, thank you so much for resubbing, my friend. 14 months, you're a scholar and a gentleman as well. You've almost, for the for almost the entire time, like two months shy, the entire time I've been live streaming on Twitch, you've been with me. So thank you so much for being with. Thank you for coming to hang out with us, with us in this satisfactory live stream. And I've gotten plenty of plates for both myself and the mine. And we're going to make some coal run into our base. I think mine was using that to make nobelisks. What? What would you do? I found your nobelisk supply area. Yeah, that's mine. That's, <laughs> that's, that's my stuff. Mine. Okay. Your name is mine. I had to get that one little random box there because it was going to bother me. We got floating power lines for the time being because we are going to run some uh, cabling. I say cabling. I mean uh, conveyor belting through that. And it's open so that we can eventually show you guys what we're doing. It's it's a work in progress. But that's what Satisfactory is. The game in and of itself is in, like, from the moment you start playing to the moment you finish playing, everything is a work in progress. Because once you finish, you win. <laughs> But our work in progress continues to grow and grow and grow. And right now, I feel like we've just managed to get a, uh, like a handle on it. Because once this crap comes up, all that crap down there at the bottom, once that starts to come up, that means we're fully in our base. And we can continue to, to advance upwards. They see we've already started. Uh, there's the first floor. We're going to have a buffer zone. There's going to be a second floor, third floor. But we're going to continue to go up. I kind of want to call this place the Nexus because it looks so badass and all of the things are going to be running into it like it's a central hub. How do you feel about, how do you feel about the Nexus? I like the Nexus, it reminds me of Stucker. Yeah? Okay, all right, cool. So we're going to call it, we're going to re, rename this affectionately, it's going to be called the Nexus. Uh, it was either, either that or Citadel of Nyx because you know you have the Citadel of Ricks, you have to have the Citadel of Nyx. No? No Rick and Morty fans? All right, well, fine. Screw you, Mike. I don't watch that. What? Never seen it. My God. Dude, you should definitely give it a shot. It's pretty freaking awesome. It's a hilarious show. Uh, but I digress. We're going to try to... You know, I can hyper-build this. I'm going to show you guys the hyper-build trick in case you missed it earlier on. There we go. Hyper-build. <gasps> That'll happen if you hyper-build, though, occasionally. You miss. I did miss. I well, I, what I did is I actually placed one on the half foundation, and it uh, built up, covering our little entry points. Now let's see if I can do this again. Beep. 
Be -doop. I gotta zoom in in real life for a second. Okay, there. Oh, we had it. Zip, 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 zip. It's way easier if you stand directly on top of it, which I'm not doing. Uh, but it still manages to get down with what we're doing here. I went and gotten some slugs so I can overpower these and get oh. the full belt out. I have no overclockers on me. I think we've used them all. I found five slugs. Oh, nice. Oh, damn, nice. Are they all green ones? Yes, unfortunately. That's all right. Okay, I'm connecting these all the way up to the top. Oh, come on. Let me see you. If I don't move my mouse down, it won't go down vertically. Snap. 188% overclock is what you need. 188%? Nice. Yep. Okay, that one should line up, I think. Let's see. How is that? Oh, so nice! Do we need more than two full belts? Of coal? Yeah. Do we need more? Uh, we could do two rows of steel. And oh, we have one more pure coal over here, too. So we get three full belts easily. Could we? Uh, I was going to say we could save the last belt for compacted coal. That's true. We're going to need eventually. Right. So we'll do... Why don't we do compacted coal in the center? And we'll do the uh, other two in on the ends. The steel belts. Just so we know, like, which one's which. Okay, Unless... so I'll run all three in then. Yeah, might as well run all three in. Come on, give me the thing. Oh, that, oh wait, I'm trying to do a splitter. No wonder it's not working. I have the wrong button selected. Okay, we'll line you up. Come on, give me a snappy. There we go. And we've got you lined up. All right, these guys are all lined up nice. I'm going to come down and help you, unless you still need me up here. No, I think we're good. Okay, I'm going to come down and help you, because it's probably going to take me a hot minute to get back up to the base. What we'll do here is we'll seal you off. Boom. And then now nobody knows that we ever use this as a skyway. Uh, what we... I'm not going to kill the power just yet. But we can soon. So this row, the reason why this power is off like this is so we know, hey, get rid of it, delete it. We don't like it. Uh, this over there, over yonder, if you can see, because I don't have my uh, interstellar binoculars equipped, over there is going to be our full source of power supplying the entire base. And you'll see its amazingness as we get over there. It's definitely something we're going to be working on within the next couple of episodes if we don't get to it today. Uh, that is going to be what supplies the entire base with power until nuclear. Until we get to nuclear. That's where things are going to get Ooh, really crazy. Be fun. Yeah. We're going to have to start a nuclear power plant. Um, okay, I'm coming down here with you. You know what? We probably could kill this coal. Come over here. Go to where I'm standing. Where are you standing? Oh, I see I want to show you something. Okay. Is it your wiener? No, something okay. better. Something better than... Wow. <laughs> That's impressive. Okay, I'm coming over. Look the way I'm looking. Look the way you're looking, all right. I hate nature, did you know that? You hate nature? <laughs> oh my god, how did you put down that's some... That was probably one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me in this game. That was awesome. Except it only took out like five trees, but still, that was really awesome. Yeah, I got one per tree. I'm down to three left, so I didn't want to waste them. Oh god, we gotta make more novels. Those things are amazing. I love those things. I love them so much. I love them like a fat kid loves cake. Oh, so you took them all the way to the top, so we're all connected now. Yeah, we're connected. We've got coal running uh, through the Skyway Highway if we want slash need to uh, get it going to the base. I tried to streamline it as quickly as possible. Even mother... Come to your house and cut you. Uh, you left a hole in the side there, by the way. I'm fixing it. Oh, game safe. World safe. I just fixed I it. I go back up. There is a there's a whole other coal node right here too. Is this pure? It's a normal. Oh, the normal one's the one you skipped. Yeah, I have three piers connected. The one of the piers is fliced off to the plants for now. Okay, who bears? Until they get destroyed. Um, it's all right. the far right one. If we're looking at it from out here. Well, our goal was steel. This is gonna go. This stuff is gonna go, but. Let's get steel first. Let's make sure we've got steel in case beams going, because we're going to need that. I'm riding the conveyor belt back. Uh, let's run this stuff through the uh, Skyway. Yep. You want to take it on the bottom layer? Um, yeah, that way we can ride it until we build the top layer. 
Okay. How do we place the walls already painted? That's actually one of the reasons why we're using those walls specifically. So that's something that we learned in the... Oh, I went the wrong way. That's something that we learned in the last playthrough of Satisfactory. We used the, like, uh, metal-esque looking walls. The aluminum frame looking walls. That was a mistake because you cannot paint or dye those. So if you use the orange ones and you paint uh, or dye anything in your base, everything turns the same color. So you can continuously place things that are dyed uh, or pre-dyed for you. So we used all the yellow ones in earlier, and now we've got uh, all black and green ones. Because those are the colors of our factory, black and green. Let's keep rolling through the base. And make it right here to that walkway. Oh, your days are numbered. Crap on the ground here. My god, it looks so terrible. Things half deleted. It's like it's like just an abandoned factory with random things floating in the sky because gravity functions a little bit differently on this planet. <laughs> yeah, once you research the color gun, uh, just paint. I think you could paint like any structure, right? Mine. It doesn't. As, as yeah, long as you, you, have, you have different numbers, so whatever you use paint a certain color, if you change that number, it'll change all that certain one you painted. All all the uh, potentially dyeable or paintable surfaces. Yes, as long as you have it painted to that number, like, and but number one in your queue is um, all the orange buildings. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, mine does a better way of explaining it because he's the one that actually achieved painting the entire base for us with one fell swoop. Okay, I am catching up to you, I believe, if you're already up here, into the uh, into the tunnel. Above. Yeah, I'm already, I'm already doing it. Do you want to pump this stuff directly up to tier two? Yes. Okay. In that case, I'll get you set up. So this is going through the buffer zone? Yes. Okay, that's what I just jumped over. So if you're watching, if you're watching me right now and wondering like what the hell it is that we're talking about, in between each floor, we have a three foundation or three wall high buffer zone. And that buffer zone is going to be for moving resources to the appropriate place because we're burning, building vertically now. Uh, so we need to pump resources to where they need to be through vertical channel systems, elevators, conveyor belts, whatever. So we've got a small area in order to keep this base as OCD friendly as possible. We've got a small area for us to work within that's going to be still OCD friendly, but out of sight and out of mind that carries what we need from floor one to floor two and the same thing is going to be repeated uh so on and so forth floor three four 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 floor floor yeah all the way down or up that's how that's gonna roll uh what i'll do is i'll drop a f oh you know what i should probably leave that open we don't want to drop any from there really I'm never going to have full Zelda hearts again. You're just a bad never person. Never again. I, I need more industrial frame thingies. I'm going to go get some. Industrial frame thingies? Uh, in Didn't case you turn those off? We're going to run out real In fast. case steel beams? Yeah. I have, like, legit 2,000. Well, I don't know if that's 2,000, but I have over 1,000 on me. I need more than that to run those bells. What? No, there's no way. It costs a lot. It's like each section is 24 times. It's 100 per... Six foundations. We've got another subscriber. Ramble Claus is back in the house. Just gifted five more subs to the channel. Thank you so much, Ramble Claus. You've gifted a total of 65 subs to this channel. You're a scholar, a legend, a gentleman, and a true pal of mine. Thank you so much, my dude. Thank you for your generosity. Let's give Rambo Claus some love in the chat here for gifting subs to those new nerd creators that have just earned their ad free viewing on Twitch. Enjoy your ad free viewing on Twitch, my friends. You don't have to deal with it anymore. What's up, my dude? Thank you so much for popping in here. Hope you're excited for some satisfactory gameplay. I'm going to show mine that we can run these belts with the encased steel beams that I have. I'm going to show okay. it. I'm going to show that turd that this is how this works. We're it's also. For six foundations. We may need to go get some more steel beams. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we also need to run raw iron into the second floor 
So what there's I've, a pier note over there too. I saw up on the cliff. I was just gonna say, why don't we run it through one of the open hollow legs that we have uh, and run it directly to floor two? Because I think that, that was some of our plans all along. Run that all the way to floor two, and then we'll be able to make all of our sweet, sweet, sweet steel. And then mine can have his precious encased steel beams. We need them. We have precious, yeah. precious steel beams. Maybe you should run one line for now. That's what I'm sure. doing. I'm only running one line right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I found 300. That's it. As I mock all you. Of ours, that's all that's left. I'm running only one line as I mock you. Like it's a, like you're the big dick because you want more things that we don't have. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the I'm the even bigger dick because I broke it up. Well, truth be told, some of them there are some still in storage somewhere. I don't think there's a whole hell of a lot anymore, but there are some still in storage. I checked all the storages; they're all gone. They are now all depleted. It's exactly what I was trying to tell you this entire time. Damn it, mine! This is why we can't have nice things. Cause you. Uh, you know, you stay up late at night, you delete half the base. That's true. I get I get internet angry. I stay up late at night, and I'm like, this thing needs to go. It's in my way. Uh, let's make this instead of eight. Let's make this six. Uh, Rainbow Claws is at it again. He's on a mission today. Rainbow Claws, my hero, you just gifted five more subs to this channel. My power level groweth. It is truly over 9,000. You are a total of 70 gifted subs to this channel. Give that man some love in the chat, guys. Get him some MPG love. Uh, why is the Nerd Parade phone cover? We should have some iPhone covers, Nerd Parade iPhone covers in the, uh, store. If you just, like, kind of filter through it. We have Samsung and, uh, iPhone. I see that question there. But thank you for being interested in that. I've even, where's my phone? I've, I've got, uh, I've got a, I don't know if you can see this through the green screen. You might be able to, but, uh, kinda. Zip. I got a little pop socket on my phone. A Nerd Parade pop socket. Uh, Rainbow Claws, thank you so much again. I got, I'm getting distracted from my thank yous while I'm trying to answer chat. Greatly appreciated, my friend. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Give that man some love in the chat here for us today. And we are going to make mini steel beams for mine. I totally lost track of what we were doing. Oh, yeah, that's right. So instead of making this eight, uh, this highway, I think we should just make it six to avoid overcrowding. Okay. I don't think we're going to need eight different resources being transported in this one highway either. I think we'd be overdoing it. So th bottom row for, for coal, top row is like oil uh, and other things of that nature. I just... Oil and then two other things, honestly, because we only need one line for oil. Yep. And then we're, we're pretty much golden. Golden brown. Like the delicious color of cookies. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we so are we smelting up here too, the uh, boundaries? Uh, we can. Okay, I'll start setting it up. Then. We don't have to though. Now that you mention that, we don't have to. Well, we already ran it all to the base. Only one, but that we could use that for compacted. We could use this for compacted. So let's let's figure out now. I, I actually like smelting ingots at the source, and I like running ingots. If we run in ingots, we can set up a huge uh, smelt a factory thing. And then cart in two rows of ingots. Yeah, let's let's smelt it at the source. We'll use this line okay. for compacted coal. Which we're gonna need anyway. Pure note of iron and get started on a okay factory over there. Uh, then if we're doing that, why don't we run instead of through the skyway? Why don't we run that coal through the legs? Why don't we run the steel through the legs directly to floor two? Uh, the legs kind of far from there, but we can if you want. I, I mean it's. It's gonna save distance either way, I guess. So yeah, it's kind. Of, I think it's kind of gonna be cheaper, actually, because if we run it to the legs, we can kind of run it at a straight angle. True. Yeah. So from here to here, instead of making the right angle here, where it's eventually gonna cost us even more. Not that cost is too terribly much of a problem, 
But just we for... We have no conveyor belt stuff right now. Yeah, why did you go and delete all the fancy encased steel beam making stuff that we needed so badly? I don't know, I was up late the other night. And... Lag? Sun was <laughs> in your eyes? Goldfish yes. is drowning? Goldfish is on fire. Yeah, yeah gotcha. Uh, well, how do you want to do it? Do you want to bring the coal to the pure node? I'm sorry. Do you want to bring the coal to the pure iron node or the iron to the pure coal node? Iron to the pure coal node. Okay. Is it... Because there's a couple of pure iron nodes. There's one literally up the cliff from it I'm working on right now. Oh, really? Okay. So we'll build the entire steel smelting... Oh, I, I just saw the explosion over there. Uh, we'll build the entire steel smelting facility right there in front of those two coal nodes. Yes. And we'll have one, two, so we're going to need 30 smelters. Uh, forges. How much do forges output? I don't remember. Let's find out. Let's find out. You've been with us since season two of Arc PV. That's awesome, I do. Thank you so much for being with us for so long. We're going to find out some logistics here, and I have run the resource for the compacted coal. I actually like running the ingots more. I'm glad that you said something, because I would have ran three lines of coal there. Yeah. I'm really glad you said something. What we'll do is we'll run that steel right up through one of those legs, and right up through this leg. We have these legs specifically designed to go directly to floor two. It accidentally kind of worked out on purpose. I'm happy about that. Best balance beam ever? Yeah, I know, right? I have... I'm, I uh, belong in the Olympics with those balance beam skills. Okay, we're going to check out a smelter, 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 smelter. There's a coal dudes. More random coal power because it's required for... Or was required. Smelter. So a smelter outputs... It's I think it's the same. 30 per minute. Consumption, though, is 45. So you got to take the 450 and divide it by the 45. So 10. Yep. 10 each. So instead of 30, we want 20. And we can boost them. Why 20? We only have enough for one. I only have one pure node of iron over here. But we have so many pure iron nodes over here. Yeah, I have another iron. Let me check out another, another one over here. Another pure one? I don't know if it's pure or not. I'm going to go check. What's this? Is limestone? Limestone. We don't need any of that. Well, oh, wait, I can't... Oh! Oh! I just got three overclockers. We can break that sucker down. Uh, okay, with these fancy three overclockers, we've got some uh, work we can do. You're going to search for another pure iron node instead of wanting to run from one of these existing here at the base? Yeah, there's one right here, so let me check it. Oh, okay. If it's pure, then we'll use it. If it's normal, then we'll run from the pure. Because I know there's two over here that we haven't even touched. And I'd rather run from a pure node than... It's pure. It's pure. It is pure. There we go. There it is. That's awesome. So we've got two for two pures. So 20. 20 smelters. Alright, I'm going to work my way over to you then. I'll help you build that. And we'll run it here to uh, one line to this leg. One line to that leg. And steel input will be coming into the base directly to floor two. <laughs> we got there. We almost did something a little bass backwards. Just a little bit. Almost. It was a close call. But you said something, and you caught on to it, and I would have built it and then been like, oh, crap, and then unbuilt it. So that was like the last time we did something like that. What was that thing we did last time where that happened? The last time was the concrete. Oh, yeah, the concrete. I yeah. smelted it at the source when I didn't need to. It was the reverse of what we almost did. Yeah. Because I'm so used to smelting stuff at the source. I like smelting stuff at the source. It's more efficient that way. It's less clutter in the base. Too. It's less smoke. way less. Way less clutter. Alright, I'm going to get these things started. Now, you know I'm going to be a little bit crazy about this. Yeah. <laughs> 
mine knows me. Mine knows me, and he knows that I get out of hand with this. So since we're building our foundry over here, the one thing that I absolutely must do... ...is this. Lock it to that one. That's why I didn't do the foundation. Yeah, I have to lock it to the foundation snap point of the main nexus center. So what I mean by that is, here's the nexus... The Skyway Highway is built off the Nexus. Everything foundation-wise that we have on this planet will eventually be snapped off of the same grid that is the Nexus. OCD factory on point. Legitimately. Okay. So this will be kind of broken down and rebuilt ever so slightly. As we go, because I don't have enough concrete to make the dream work right now with all this scaffolding still here but we'll take yeah, it to 90 that's about what i got i'll go back and get more okay that is now in the ground yeah that's in the ground so we'll build at that height let's turn on my flashlight kill it kill it kill it kill it we're gonna f on all this stuff pick it all up the the nixus oh i like that see that's funny that's funny but if we name it the Nixus, it excludes mine. And I don't want to exclude mine. He's been helping me out so much. That guy's a gentleman and a scholar. I've been using that phrase a lot lately because it's one of my favorites. All right, Barry Bush, I'm sorry, but you're in the way of our advancement. And I can't have you growing berries under the, under the, under the base. Under the sea? Un <laughs> under the sea. Under the factory. Down where it's... Wait, hold for a second. Techno no, you're going to shoot me. Down it's where it's science. technologically it's better. Not so much wetter. Take it from me. De -de 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 -de. God. I have so... This is why I need berries. Is because you keep shooting me with your freaking... Can you even find where I'm at? No, I don't know. where. I would have to look at the map. Are you in the thing? Oh, I see you now. Oh my god, I see you now. You're such a giant dick sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I can't have nice things. Because I'm constantly getting shot by my friends. Do you uh, have any um, overclockers? Yeah, I got three because I just broke down a mining node that had three in it that wasn't being used at all. I need two of them so I can overclock 188%. All yours. You just got to come and get them. Okay, whatever you want to do with this thing for... Uh, here you go. Take all three. Whatever you want to do with this here, give me some ideas because I'm drawing a little bit of a blank. For, for, Let me see here. For 20, so 20, right? 20 found, uh, foundries. Foundy Foundries. Well, if we were in the experiment version, we could stack the splinters. That's true, but we risk losing... Yeah, true. Four. How big is that? Is that one foundation? Close to it. A little bit, of, a little bit more? Yeah, it's like just a hair over. All right, let's go out this way, then. Uh, let's build towards the leg that we're going to be running this stuff to. And then we'll elevate... We'll do uh, the output. We'll elevator it up. And then run it all the way to the base. And I'll build the foundation scaffolding along the way. So that it's all nice and lined up. And then running right to the leg. I'm going to need more concrete. But I'll uh, I'll think that I'll think that that's the best way to go about it. I've got my chainsaw. So I'm going to deforest this area a little bit too here. Got to clear all this crap out before we start building on it. Unless you want a novelist kid. I know I get great joy from it. I know you get great joy from it. But I think we're running a little bit low on the old C4. Yeah, I have four of them, so. Good old-fashioned chainsaw it is. This is like weird intergalactic bamboo or something. It's pink. All bamboo is pink on this planet. Soup. Sounds strange. Seems legit to me. All right, we'll cut these down. Oh, world saving. Alright, that, that ought to be good. That'll work. Let's put this away so it's not making annoying noises. Continue to build out. We'll what do you think of this design? We'll deforest that in a second, and we're gonna check your design. Oh, I like it! Is it. Oh, it's split right on the foundation split! Yep, that way it's even. Oh, well done. I like that a lot. And then we can just go 10 and 10. 
Yep, 10 and 10, then you run the two. Oh, wait. No, never mind. This won't work. This will not work. Let me resign that. I forgot there's two sides here. Oh, double input. Yeah, I need two belts in the middle. I think I know what you're going to do, though. Oh, I can't afford that. Do you have concrete on you? If not, I'm going to go back and get some. I have, like, 50 on me. Okay, yeah, keep it. Oh, yeah, I remember you saying you had 90. Well, we did squirrel off a little bit. What did I say we're going to try to accomplish in this uh, episode? I already forgot. <laughs> this is satisfactory. Nothing is accomplished quickly. But we have been streaming for about that 45-minute mark. Ooh, I see berries. I like berries. We have been streaming for about that 45-minute mark. I try to make the uh, ep the stream episodes at about 45-minute intervals. So those of you guys watching here on Twitch, never fear, we're not going anywhere. But for those of you guys watching on the tubes of youbs, uh, this is where we're going to stop the first episode of our live stream episode series for this evening. So I hope you guys enjoyed it thus far. We uh, showed off a lot of the Skyway, some of our build ideas for that. And we are working on impregnating our base with steel. I don't know why I chose the word impregnate. It just seemed like a good idea at the time, and now I regret it. Thank you so much for watching, YouTubers. Those of you guys on Twitch, never fear. Like I said, we're not going anywhere. But YouTubers, we'll catch you in the next episode. Please be sure to take care of yourselves out there and stay awesome. We'll see you then.